I, in a way, didn't want to make this video. And I'll, I, you know, I'll tell you why in a second. But I had to. Because of you. Look at you. I had to, mate. I put out on the community tab the other day. All right. Um, in fact, yesterday or day before. Who's had sleep paralysis? If so, what did you see? Okay. I was expecting a couple hundred, like, uh, responses. No. 9.3 thousand votes. And this is the most scariest thing, right? Who's had sleep paralysis? 49% of you have had sleep paralysis. What the actual F, mate? I thought it was going to be around, like, the 10% the mark, you know? Half of the population? I've had sleep paralysis and mate like the maximum comments please there's maximum comments right 841 comments so we're gonna go through every single one no we're not <laughs> the reason why i didn't want to make this bloody video is because the more i think about it the more i look into it the more it scares me like i'm gonna have it because i've had it twice before in my life sleep paralysis scared the first one mate oh, blah, blah, blah. scared the absolute shit out of me okay it was absolutely horrible i was about <clears throat> 15, something like that, right? Woke up, couldn't move, felt about 20 stone, couldn't shout, just like, ah, 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 ah. and then, um, praise the Lord, I didn't see anything. I just heard this wind chimes, like, ding, 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 and then I came out of it, mate, and it lasted probably, I don't know, 30 seconds, yeah, max, maybe about 20 seconds, and then the second time I had it, it wasn't half as bad. But, mate, it scared the crap out of me, mate. And I, I, I worried about sleeping for, like, three weeks after that. Before we get into the um, the comments, what I want to do is look at a video. The channel was called Brain Book. So if you like this sort of stuff, mate, go over to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And this is What is Sleep Paralysis? So let's educate ourselves first, and then let's get into your comments, mate. Shh. We recently covered the neuroanatomy of dreams on, and doctor. sleep physiology, but some of you have been commenting in the YouTube comments saying that you've had sleep paralysis before. Mm. Is this folklore or is there science behind it? Some of you, mate, half my bloody population's had sleep paralysis. We're going to hash it out in this video and talk you through what we know about sleep paralysis. God. What? It's fucking loud. God, I, should, I, should, I, should be, I, should, I shouldn't be listening to this, mate. Sleep paralysis has literally been the stuff of nightmares for thousands of years. Stories of this phenomenon can be found all across the world. With supernatural undertones passed on through traditional fairy tales, Canadian Eskimos believed that shamanic spells could paralyze people and induce hallucinations during their sleep. In Japanese culture, kanashibari, Kane meaning metal and shibaru meaning to bind or tie is associated with a sleep demon that strangles the victim while they sleep. Oh fucking hell, I knew I should be listening to this shit, mate! A oh, fool god! Look at you, huh? I knew I should be listening to this. Similar tales originate from Brazil, Spain, and Bloody. China, describing shapeless creatures, intruders, and ghosts as the perpetrators. More modern interpretations are those of alien abductions, often featuring humanoid beings with large bug eyes, carrying out medical or I didn't know that or even sexual experiments on their abductee. Hey, bring on the bring on the per, per, bring on the sleep paralysis, man! <laughs> this is some scary stuff. But let's take a deeper <laughs> look into the science and the evidence. So what is sleep paralysis? These are more commonly known as night terrors, and they're a part of a group of sleep disorders called parasomnias. These conditions manifest as behavioral disorders, associated in particular with waking up during sleep. Episodes of sleep paralysis in particular occur just as you're about to doze off or wake up. Oh God, yeah, I know, because the feeling that I had, uh, like, it's like that sinking mm. Mm. feeling, you know, when you, you know that you're falling asleep, you just go, mm. like that falling sensation. Oh, God. When you expect it the least. If you think this is a rare phenomenon, think again. Nearly one in 10 people in the general population will experience sleep paralysis in their lifetime. 
Despite this, our definition... Mate, I, I, I don't know about my community, man. All right? You lot are off your heads. ...and understanding of the disorder is poor. But what do we actually know? Sleep paralysis can happen in healthy individuals as a one-off event. But ongoing episodes have been linked with underlying psychiatric, hereditary, and other sleep disorders. Hereditary? It usually doesn't last longer than a few minutes at a time. And it can be linked with the dream-filled portion of sleep, otherwise known as the rapid eye movement or REM phase of sleep. This allows your eyes to continue moving as normal, together with your chest muscles that help you breathe, whilst other voluntary muscle movements like your limbs or your arms and your legs are stopped or inhibited. When REM-based atonia horrible, or paralysis intrudes into wakefulness, it causes the dream world and the real world to collide, producing terrifying illusions, hallucinations and sensations. Oh God, oh God, yes, it's all... It's all coming back to me now. People who experience sleep paralysis report three different types of hallucinations. The first is the incubus. This is the feeling of weight or pressure on the chest yep. whilst being choked or suffocated. The second sensation is that of an intruder in the bedroom. Traditionally... Oh, fuck off, mate. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at the chicken, eh? I had the first one. I couldn't. I was choking. Oh God, mate. My legs as well. God, fucking chicken legs, mate. Oh. This would be some kind of malevolent presence or spirit, which is personalised and interpreted through visual, tactile, and kinetic cues. And lastly, are vestibulomotor hallucinations. That's the feeling of dissociation, or to you and me, an out-of-body experience. Oh. Before we continue. It'll be useful to catch up oh. on the neurobiology that supports REM sleep. Don't so, okay, I didn't know that because you know a lot of people say, "Yeah, I had an out of body experience." One, blah blah blah. Well, that is sleep paralysis. You've had sleep paralysis, mate. Or was it a spiritual thing? I don't know. <laughs> Forget we've covered some of this in our Anatomy of Dreams video. But anyway, let's go into the specifics of sleep paralysis. There's an area at the back of the ponds in the brainstem that was first identified by a French neuroscientist called Michel Jouvet, Michel called Jouvet. the sublateral dorsal nucleus. We'll call it the SLD nucleus from now on. But it's literally a nucleus that's at the back, to the side, and just under the ponds. And this pontine circuit plays a critical role in muscle atonia. How do you work that shit out? Hey? How do you just crack open a head, look at the brain and go, yeah. That's an SLD, mate. Absolutely. During REM sleep, that's the paralysis part, and is comprised of some really complex neurocircuitry. In particular, increased firing of specific SLD neurons is associated with REM sleep and causes your muscles to become atonic or paralyzed. These neurons give us clues towards understanding what goes wrong in something like sleep paralysis. Currently, research indicates a strong link between REM sleep disorders and the development of neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and other types of dementia. Oh. This suggests that REM sleep disorders may be characterized by the loss of neurological mechanisms that control your REM sleep. Wow. Okay. Now, it's important to note that just because you're getting sleep paralysis experiences does not mean you're developing Parkinson's disease or some kind of dementia. Well, that's fucking good to know. Lots of things can make these circuits fire wrongly. Some of the risk factors including drinking way too much alcohol and being sleep deprived. And that's why Ooh. people commonly experience episodes of sleep paralysis after a long haul flight, for example, when they're in a new time zone and they're sleep deprived. So there's oh. a neural reason why you might stop being able to move while you're waking. But why do people experience the hallucinations? This is what I'm talking about, mate. The same ones as well. What the F is all that about? That go with it. Specifically that incubus or the out of body sensation. The incubus sitting on the person's chest or the malevolent spirit in the corner of the room that's just watching you is thought to be attributed to a disturbance in the parietal cortex, an area of the brain responsible for interpreting sensations and perceptions and integrating what you're seeing, hearing, feeling and touching with your visual system and plugging in. It's almost like the brain's making up what your body is feeling. It's like, you're feeling this, so just imagine that, yeah? 
have, have you seen those things on TikTok where you look at the dot in the middle, you've got two like actors' faces left and right, and they keep on changing, okay? Like, if you look at them, they look like normal people, okay? But then if you keep your eye on the center dot, their faces start, like, really over-exaggerated, massive eyeballs and small mouths and shit like that. It's because your, your, your peripheral view is, like, saying, I can't quite make that out, so just, just make shit up, mate. It's, it's weird as hell. That all together. This normally allows you to construct spatially coordinated images that project and integrate with your natural environment. Now, your muscles are a really integral part of this mechanism. Oh, man, I'm really starting to regret listening to this, mate, watching it. Okay, I bet the watch time on this video is going to be so bloody short. Okay, people are going to be like, nah, I don't want to be listening to this, mate. Nah, I don't want to be listening to this. And they give your brain some input about what's going on in and around the world, around you. But in this case, your muscles are paralyzed, but you're waking up or dozing off. Without this important sensory integration, centers including the right superior- Look at him, look at him, look at his eyes open, mate. Look at his eyeballs. Get him open. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He's like- ah parietal lobule and the temporoparietal junction become muddled and they default to your genetically hardwired body map. In case you've never heard of it, this is something we call the somatosensory homunculus. It's organized by neural pathways that communicate between our sensory organs and the brain. Right. It lays across the cortical surface of the parietal lobe and in pictures and textbooks it often looks like a man draped over the brain wow. and it assigns small sections of the sensory cortex to equivalent areas of your body. This is how the brain processes sensation and may explain why people with sleep paralysis misattribute human-like shadow illusions to real ghosts and supernatural beings that really feel like they're standing right there. Oh That's God, mate. Oh God. It's all well and good, but what about the vestibular motor or out of body experiences? That's slightly trickier to understand and is completely theoretical. Oh, to try and figure okay. this out, we need to talk about serotonin. This is the one thing that they can't quite explain. So it could literally be your spirit leaving your bloody body, mate. ...and LSD. Serotonin is an important out. neurotransmitter that's implicated in mood. Looking at well-established research and findings, serotonin has a really integral role in visual processing. And that's all linked to a receptor in the brain called 5-HT2A. And that's an important piece of this puzzle. As with a lot of our understanding about the brain, we need to look at when the brain goes wrong or when it's diseased. Both schizophrenia and Parkinson's patients show increased densities of these serotonin receptors in the visual cortex and also report experiencing really odd visual hallucinations or delirious episodes. To add to that, meditation and drug-induced altered states of consciousness are known to cause mystical and intense hallucinations. Very similar- Fuck doing any bloody um, meditation then, mate. F that anymore. Well, I don't really do it anyway, but whatever, mate. You know what I mean? Similar to what people experience in sleep paralysis. We know that the dissociative feelings or the out-of-body experiences caused by LSD through the 5-HT2A receptor activations may lead to users of LSD attributing increased meaning and personal involvement with otherwise- Mate, I'm so glad I've never done any LSD, mate. I'm so glad I've never done that. I... Mate, my imagination is wild enough as it is. If me on LSD, mate, no effing way. Meaningless things like shapes or sounds in the air. This characterizes something called personal relevance attribution. And that may embody some of the aspects of personal narrative and the out of body experience described in sleep paralysis. Overall, <laughs> this is a hugely interesting and complicated area of research that's, again, only really at its infant stage of exploration, even more so than the anatomy of dreams. I know this was a really whistle-stop tour jumping from culture to neurobiology, functional anatomy, and even psychopharmacology, but I hope it's given you the... Maximum words, please! <laughs> And I hope it's made some slight sense of this really complex It has, mate. It has. And inspired you to go and explore for yourself. Let me know if you've enjoyed this by commenting yeah, down below. I have, mate. Right, so you have an understanding about what is sleep paralysis. I'm a bit concerned that I've actually watched that because I'm going to be shitting myself tonight going to bed. But if you've got this far, mate, well done. Congratulations. Let's go look at your comments, shall we, please? Absolutely. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not lying, mate. Like 49% of you have had sleep paralysis. What the actual F? Anyway, right. 
Abe Vasquez. Look at you, mate. Maximum comments. Maximum likes. I've had it maybe two or three times. I'm guessing it was different for everybody or everyone. For, for me, it was like someone was sitting on my entire body. That's what I felt like. I couldn't move at all. I couldn't yell or talk. My sight was minimal. It was like looking through a foggy window. Everything was entirely hazy. It was more or less the same every time. But the first time was creepy for sure because I had no idea what was happening. Uh, although it is nice. Never a nice experience. Hope this helped. Yeah, it did. Thanks, mate. Shami from Berlin. For me, it was mostly sounds that um, weren't there. Like I heard footsteps coming closer. I was like, you heard footsteps coming closer, mate? What? Coming closer as I could not move. And sometimes a shadowy figure seemed to be just standing on the far end of my bed. What the actual F? Actually, really freaky deaky. But there are, there are some strategies to get control back of your body that can help. You're not going to tell people? Like, literally, you know the strategies, and you're not going to tell... Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Floppy Balboa. <laughs> like, Rocky Balboa. I like that, mate. Hey, Ben. Hey. How's it going, Floppy? That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, um, it was about 10 years ago. During the, that time, I went through a really nasty depression. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I think that uh, might have something to do with it. I was asleep at the apartment and suddenly it felt like I was wide awake, but I could not move my body and I heard some sort of growling, snorting, breathing sound behind my back. I, I wanted to look if there was somebody laying with me in my bed. But as I said before, I couldn't move. And from that point on, I became very frightened, especially scary because I had the feeling that my blanket was was moving also it felt literally like an hour before i massed up enough courage to try to escape that state in real time it was probably just a few minutes i counted down from 10 and then i totally ramboed it yes mate you barely ramboed it but the experience burned it itself into my soul it was just later that i found out that there was a thing called sleep paralysis yeah mate when I was when I was had sleep paralysis at first, my mum took me to see a medium, right? And the medium said that it was it was like it was my guardian angels and stuff, like maybe trying to communicate to me now and stuff like that. And like you know, I was like, what? And then years later, years later, I went to the doctors. And he went, yeah, sleep paralysis. I was like, oh great, so there's nothing to do with spiritualism then. He's like, nah. Alice G. It only happened once. I was about 14, 15 at the time. As I woke up um, feeling panicky early in the morning, I tried to scream because I couldn't uh, move, but I couldn't even open my mouth. So I just laid there freaking out. I don't know why, but there was th just this overwhelming feeling of doom. And it also felt like I was being watched, but there wasn't anyone around. Then it kind of felt like I was slipping away back to a deep sleep. Definitely one of the most scariest moments I've had. Yes, mate. It's the, one of the most scariest moments I've had in my whole entire life. Okay, Vincent Coleman. I've had it quite regular sometimes. You've had it quite regular sometimes. Okay, so periods of time you've had it quite regular and then nothing at all. Right. Especially when my sleep pattern goes a bit tits up. I've never saw anything but normally hear things quite a lot at the time. It actually sounds like that uh, amplified for example a few weeks ago i thought i could hear that what sounded like a carrier bag being crumpled in the corner of my room but then when i broke broke out of the paralysis i realized it was just a noise of a fan it's normally stuff like that i have um i've heard breathing behind me before oh god mate fucking hell man hearing breathe hearing god hearing breathing behind you Oh, God, that freaks me the F out, mate. All right, I don't want to read any more of that one. Here we go. B-E. I've had it pretty regularly throughout my life. Oh, God, mate. Sorry to hear that, man. When I was younger, it was mostly auditory hallucinations. But as I got... See, more sounds. But as I got older, I could sometimes feel something grabbing my ankle. Hang on. Grabbing my ankle or breathing in my ear. What the... F what is this breathing... Sh oh, fucking hell, mate. I'm telling you, man. Oh, mate. If I have this, mate. If I have this after today's video, I'm going to be so pissed off. Breathing in your ear. I, or a person laughing in the distance. 
It feels very real and you can't move or your entire body is paralyzed. I would start with wiggling my toes or fingers and work myself away. Uh, awake, I think that's supposed to be. I've only seen visual hallucinations a few times. Only a few times, it's all right. And usually it was something crawling onto my bed with me. Oh, fucking hell, man. Oh, shit up, mate. I'm not having that, man. Hey? Something crawling on your bed? Not features, just a shadow. It's really scary. It happens about once a week for me, but it's not always that terrifying. Laura Burns. I see shadows and swore someone was in my room with me. I was that scared. I apparently I fell back asleep and my eyes with my eyes open. My ex partner said I was fo um, following him about the room with my eyes. Oh God! Oh fucking hell, mate! So you just stood there like, and you just oh fucking hell! Let me just read that again because I can't re read for shit. I see. Oh God! Look at you! Look at you! Right. I seen shadow and swore someone was in my room with me. I was that scared that apparently I fell back asleep with my eyes open. My ex-partner said I was following him about the room with my eyes. Now, what is your fucking ex, mate? He probably looks at that and went, motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry if you're still cut up about your ex. Like, it's your ex. He's done you a favor. You've done him a favor. Whatever, mate. He said that my I was following him about the room with my eyes, but I was asleep and I can't remember him even coming into the room. I've had sleep paralysis about five or six times. Fucking hell. Angela Bailey. I usually have night terrors when I have sleep paralysis. There's always a tallish, slim shadow bastard just repeatedly coming for me along with numerous other things all grabbing for me. Fucking hell. I have no vo voice. I can't scream, nor can I move. I don't know how long it lasts, but it's terrifying from the start to the finish. Holy shit. Are things grabbing at you? I shouldn't be reading this shit. Mustafa Abdelaram. Mustafa Abdelrahman. Abdelrahman. Mustafa. Okay. I've had it numerous times before. Once I was... Once... I saw a translucent figure coming out of the mirror. Then it jumped onto the bed I was sleeping on. I felt the bed bending where I was putting it, where it was putting its legs. But every time I start um, reciting the qu the Quran, it goes away. Oh, is that like a prayer that you do and it goes away? Oh my God. So you can speak in it? You can speak while it's happening. Hey, somebody comes out of the fucking mirror. What? The, what the hell? What the hell is this shit, man? This is absolutely crazy. Nightman two two two. Okay, for me, I heard whispering in some language I didn't know. I couldn't open my eyes, but I could hear whispering. It will. It, it hasn't happened in quite. You heard whispering in a language you didn't know. Right, that's fucking, that's enough for me, mate. I'm sorry, I can't be, I can't be reading this anymore of this shit, mate. Okay? If you want to go over there and read some of this stuff, mate, please, please go ahead. Man, this is freaking me right out. I hope you like the video. And, um, I don't know, leave a comment if you liked it, right? Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope you sleep safe, okay? And, 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 and nice. And I hope I do. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>